Hoy vamos a ver una serie de cosas de Grok, entre ellas pues que habla y aquí vemos como el usuario Emir, que trabaja para XCI, ha subido un vídeo con la primera voz eh, de prueba de, de Grok y eso que lo más acaba de decir que el modelo de voz todavía no funciona correctamente y que posiblemente lo lancen en una semana. Así que está al caer, así que esta es la primera preview. Básicamente lo que dicen es... ¿Qué tal, Grog? Puedes escucharme y, bueno, estoy muy emocionado de conocerte y no puedo esperar a charlar y aprender uno del otro. Así que vamos a ver el vídeo. Hey, Grog, ¿qué tal? ¿Puedes escucharme? Estoy muy emocionado de finalmente meet you. No puedo esperar a chat y aprender más sobre ellos. Te hablaré pronto. Hey, Grog, ¿qué tal? ¿Puedes escucharme? <laughs> I'm so excited to finally meet you. I can't wait to chat and learn more about each other. I'll talk. Bien, como veis le han metido este efecto de pantalla que es bastante curioso y la voz suena un poquito pues a una voz de IA de de Elon Musk que bueno para la presentación pues parece bastante bien y tiene ese efecto de risillas de estas nuevos tipo de voces que hace con IA que meten efectos de sonido pues para que parezcan más más pues más reales. Y dicho esto, bueno, vamos a ver cosillas. Entre ellas eh, me he conectado a ver si estaba ya la... Podíamos acceder a Goro 3 a través del API. No está, solo te deja acceder a Goro 2. Eh, en el vídeo de ayer puse cómo podéis probarlo, ¿vale? A través del LM Arena. Así que vamos a ver un vídeo de cómo de la presentación en el que presentaron, pues eso, Goro 3, que en este caso tiene... Estas ventajas, razonamiento y agentes, que va a ser la siguiente gran cosa de los agentes, así que vamos a ver qué dicen. We don't ask them to solve Riemann uh, hypothesis just with a piece of pen and paper, yeah. no internet. So with all the basic web browsing, search engine, and code interpreters, that builds the foundations and the best reasoning model, builds the foundations for the Grok agent to come. Um, so today we're actually introducing a new product called Deep Search. That is the first generation of our Grok agents that not just helping the engineers and researchers and scientists to do coding, but actually help everyone to answer questions that you have day to day. It's a kind of like a next generation search engine that really help you to understand the universe. So you can start asking questions like, for example, hey, when is the next Starship launch day, for example? Um, so let's try that, if hit the answer. Um, on the left hand side, we see uh, a high level progress bar, essentially, you know, The model not only just going to do one single search like the current rack system, but actually thought very deeply about, hey, what's the user intent here? And what are the facts that I should consider at the same time? And how many different websites I should actually go and read their content, right? So this is, can really save hundreds of hours of everyone's Google time if you want to really look into certain topics. And then on the right hand side, you can see the bullet summaries of how the current model uh, you know, is doing what websites browsing, what sources verifying, and oftentimes actually cross-validate different sources out there uh, to make sure the answer is actually correct before it's output final answer. And we can, you know, at the same time, fire up a few more queries. Um, how about, you know, Elon, you're a gamer, right? So, uh, uh, sure. <laughs> yeah, so how about what are some of the best builds, the most popular builds in uh, uh, Pathfinder Excel? Hardcore, right? How hardcore league. I mean, if you can technically just look at the hardcore ladder, <laughs> might be a fast way to figure it out. Yeah, we'll see what model does. <laughs> um, and then we can also do, uh, you know, uh, something more fun. For example, um, how about like make a prediction about the March Madness out there? Yeah, so this is kind of a fun one where um, Warren Buffett has a billion dollar bet. If you can exactly match the, I think the, 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 the sort of the entire winning tree of March Madness, you can win a billion dollars from Warren Buffett. So like, it would be pretty cool if AI could help you win a billion dollars from Buffett. <laughs> That seems like a pretty good investment. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so now let's uh, fire up the query. See what model does. So we can actually go back to our very first one. How about the- Buffett one? wasn't counting on this. <laughs> <laughs> It's already done. That's right. Okay, so we got the result of the first one. The model thought uh, around one minute. 
Uh, so okay, so the key insight here, the next starship is going to be on 24th and, or later, so no earlier than February 24th. It might be sooner. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so I think we can, you know, go down, scroll down what, what the model does. So it does a little research on the Flight 7, what happened, got grounded, and actually it look into the FCC filing, uh, uh, you know, from its data collections. Uh, and then I should make a new conclusion that, yeah, if we continue to scroll down, uh, uh, right. Yeah, so it makes uh, the you know, little table, I think, uh, inside XAI, we often joked about the time to the first table is the only you know, latency that matters. Um, yeah, so that's how the model makes the inf inference and look up all the sources. Um, and then we can look into the gaming one. So how about the, oh, right. So for this particular one, uh, we look at hey the you know the build is light and <laughs> yeah, you know, it's kind of all the better yeah so uh, what the uh, the infernal is but if we go down so the surprising fact of uh, all the other builds so it looks into the twelve classes um, yeah so we will see that the minion build was pretty popular yes. whenever the game yeah. first came out and yeah. now the the invokers of the world yeah kind of took over invoker monkey invoker for sure. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, followed by the stone weavers, and that's really good at mapping. So, yeah, and then we can see uh, uh, the um, the match madness. How about that? So, um, one one interesting thing about the deep search is that if you actually go into the panel where it shows uh, you know what are the subtasks, you can actually click the bottom left of the screen, right? and then in this case, you can actually scroll through, actually reading to the mind of Grok, uh, what information is does the model actually think about are trustworthy, what are not, how does it actually cross-validate different information sources. So that makes the entire search experience and information retrieval process a lot more transparent to our users. And this is much more powerful than any search engine out there. You can literally just tell it, only use sources from X, you know, and it will try to respect that. Yeah. And so it's much more steerable, much more intelligent. I mean, it, it really should save you a lot of time. So something that might take you half an hour or an hour of researching on the web or searching social media, it, you can just ask it to go do that and, and come back and 10 minutes later, it's done an hour's work, worth of work for you. That's, That's really right. what it comes down to. Exactly. And, and maybe better than you could have done it yourself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Think about you have info amount of interns yeah. working for you. Now you can just fire up all the tasks and come back a minute later. Um, so this is going to be an interesting one. So uh, uh, March Madness had not happened yet. So I guess we had to follow up with a uh, next live stream. Yeah, it seems like pretty good. Like $40 might get you a billion dollars. <laughs> $40 subscription. That's right. I mean, my work. <laughs> so uh, yeah, so when are the users going to have their hands on Grok 3? Yeah, so, so the, the good news is we've been working tirelessly to actually release um, all of these features that we've shown you, the Grok free base model with amazing chat capabilities that's really useful, that's really interesting to talk to, uh, the, the deep search, the advanced reasoning mode, all of these things, we want to roll them out to you today, starting with the Premium Plus subscribers on X. So that's the first group that will initially get access. Make sure to update your X app if you want to see all of the advanced capabilities, because we just released the update you know, as, we're, as we're talking here. Um, and uh, yeah, if you're interested in getting early access to Grok, then sign up for Premium Plus. Um, and also, um, we're announcing that we're starting a separate subscription for Grok that we call Super Grok for those who re those real Grok fans that want the most advanced capabilities and the earliest access to, to new features. Um, so feel free to check that out as well. This, this um, is for the dedicated Grok app and for the website. Exactly. Website. So, so our, our new website is called Grok.com. Yeah. And you'll also you'd find. you never guess. Yeah, you'll never <laughs> guess. And you can also find our Grok app in the iOS App Store. And that gives you a, like, a more pol even, even more polished uh, experience that's totally Grok. Bien, os voy a dejar el vídeo, pues si le queréis echar un ojo, ¿vale? Que dura como una hora en el link. Y bueno, vamos a ver, por último, antes de cerrar el vídeo de hoy, pues otra vez la nueva bot. Hey, Grok, what's up? Can you hear me? <laughs> I'm so excited to finally meet you. I can't wait to chat and learn more about each other. I'll talk to you soon.